Welcome to the Rowdy Wolf channel. My name is Caitlin. I am 32 years old and I have been married to John for 10 years. We have a wonderful son, Michael, who just turned eight. We live in a cozy house on the outskirts of Boston where life flows steadily and calmly. But there has always been something inside me seeking adventure, something I couldn't explain even to myself. From the outside, my life with John seemed perfect, but over time I began to notice how our marriage was slowly but surely turning into a routine. John started spending more and more time at work, coming home late and exhausted. His attention to details, to the little things that used to make our life bright, disappeared. I felt like he started taking me for granted. Even our conversations turned into empty exchanges about everyday matters. The passion. The spark that once connected us was gone. I, a beautiful woman with expressive curves, always took care of myself. On the day everything changed, I wore a short skirt that accentuated my slim legs and a tight blouse that highlighted my figure. I knew I looked attractive and couldn't help but notice the admiring glances I drew. Perhaps it was this that pushed me towards the changes that were about to happen. John works as a lawyer and often stays late at the office. So I spend most of my time at home, taking care of Michael and the household. Michael is a smart boy, but he has always had trouble with history. After much deliberation, we decided to hire a tutor to hammer a tutor to help him improve his grades. And so, on one cool autumn day, Alex knocked on our door, a young, energetic man in his thirties. He looked like he stepped out of a fashion magazine cover. I felt my heart race when I opened the door for him. Hi, I'm Alex, he said, extending his hand. I'm here to help Michael with history. Hello, Alex, I replied, feeling slightly flustered. Please come in. Alex entered the house, and his presence immediately filled the space with an unusual energy. We sat in the kitchen, and I showed him Michael's notebooks and textbooks. Alex listened attentively, nodding and asking questions that showed his genuine interest. I think Michael has a good chance to improve his grades, he said after a brief discussion. The main thing is the right approach, and a little patience. I nodded, and we agreed on the schedule for the lessons. The first lesson went smoothly. Alex turned out to be an excellent teacher, patient and attentive, but despite his professionalism, I couldn't shake the strange feeling that something more was developing between us. With each subsequent visit, I noticed how my attraction to Alex grew stronger. Our conversations became more personal, and I learned more about him. He had been passionate about history since childhood, dreamed of becoming an archaeologist, but life had turned out differently. We laughed at his stories from his student years, and I felt an invisible bond growing between us. One evening, after an especially tense day, I was sitting in the kitchen with a cup of tea when Alex approached me. He asked, sitting down next to me. Yes, a little, I admitted, feeling his gaze on me. Sometimes it feels like everything is just a routine. I understand, he said softly. But you're doing a great job, Caitlin. Your son is a wonderful boy, and that's largely thanks to your care and love. I smiled, feeling his words warm my soul. Our eyes met, and at that moment I realized we were on the brink of something dangerous. But I couldn't stop myself. As if under a spell, I leaned towards him, and our lips met in a gentle but passionate kiss. That kiss was like a lightning strike, a moment when everything around lost its meaning. I felt his warmth, his strength, and I wanted more, but we both knew it was wrong. Caitlin, he whispered, pulling away. We shouldn't be doing this. I know, I replied, trying to manage the overwhelming emotions, but I can't help it. We stared at each other for a long time before Alex stood up and gathered his things. He promised to return for the next lesson, but in his eyes I saw the same fear and desire that I felt. When the door closed behind him, I realized my life would never be the same. Ahead of us lay difficult decisions and challenges, 
but at that moment I was ready to do anything to feel that unforgettable kiss again. Several days had passed since Alex and I shared our first kiss. Tension lingered in the house, and I felt how, with each of his visits, our gazes met more frequently and my heart beat faster. I tried to distract myself with household chores and taking care of Michael, but thoughts of that moment never left me. One day, when John was at another business meeting, Alex came for a lesson with Michael. They worked in the living room and I, as usual, sat in the kitchen, pretending to be busy with chores. But my attention was fixed on their voices, on Michael's laughter and Alex's calm, confident words. When the lesson ended, Michael ran to his room to show John his new knowledge. Alex approached me in the kitchen, his gaze serious and determined. We need to talk, Caitlin, he began, sitting down next to me. I know, I replied, lowering my eyes. It was wrong, but he finished for me, taking my hand in his. His touch was warm and gentle, and I couldn't resist. We sat like that for a few moments before he leaned in and kissed me again. This time, the kiss was more passionate, deeper, and filled with desire. I felt his hands glide down my back, pulling me closer. Caitlin, I can't stop thinking about you, he whispered, pulling away for a moment to look into my eyes. I know this is wrong, but I can't stop it. Me too, I replied, feeling my heart race. I don't know what to do. We kissed again, and I felt his hands begin to slide over my body, causing waves of warmth and excitement. I couldn't resist my feelings and we gradually moved to the living room. Where our bodies intertwined, he began to slowly remove my clothes. His hands gently unbuttoned my blouse, revealing my lace lingerie. I felt his fingers touch my skin, causing goosebumps all over my body. When the blouse fell to the floor, he began to remove my skirt, carefully pulling it down until I was left in only my underwear. You are beautiful, he whispered, looking at me with admiration. I've dreamed of this since the moment I first saw you. I couldn't hold back my feelings. We both understood that this was wrong, but we couldn't stop. In his eyes, I saw the same desire that burned inside me. Lowering the straps of my bra, his touches were so tender that they caused me to shiver. I felt his breath become ragged, and at that moment, we both knew we were crossing a line we couldn't return from. He slowly leaned in to kiss my lips, and I felt our desire ignite with new strength. The kiss was hot and deep, full of the passion we had been holding back for so long. His hands glided smoothly over my body, causing waves of warmth that engulfed me completely. We ended up on the couch, our bodies entwined as one. His lips explored my neck, making me moan with pleasure. I felt his hands slip under my underwear, sparking emotions I couldn't control. Our movements became more rhythmic, each kiss, each touch bringing us closer to a moment when the whole world would disappear, leaving just the two of us. I couldn't believe this was happening to me, that I was ready to break all the rules for this moment. Alex. I whispered, when he pulled away for a moment to look into my eyes. We need to stop. I know, he replied, his voice trembling with emotion, but I can't. We kissed again, our bodies moving in unison, as if we were made for each other. I felt his touches become more confident, his breath quicken. At that moment, I realized I had completely lost control over myself. When our bodies finally met, I felt an indescribable sensation. It was like an explosion of emotions that consumed me entirely. I felt every movement of his, every touch, as if it were the last time I could feel something like this. We moved together, our bodies intertwined as one, creating a rhythm that was only ours. I felt his hands hold me tightly, his lips touch my skin, causing goosebumps all over my body. When we finally reached the climax, I felt a wave of pleasure wash over me. It was a sensation I would never forget. A moment when everything around disappeared, leaving just the two of us. We lay beside each other, our breathing gradually calming down. I felt his arms around me, his warmth enveloping me. 
Caitlin, he whispered, his voice full of emotion. I don't want this to end. Me neither, I replied, snuggling up to him. But what are we going to do? We'll find a way, he said confidently. I can't lose you. I realized I was ready to do anything to keep what we had. Our relationship had become something more than just attraction. It was a real feeling I couldn't ignore. We spent the rest of the night together, hugging and talking about the future. We knew that ahead of us lay many difficult decisions, but we were ready to overcome everything for our love. When morning came, we knew we had to return to reality, but at that moment we were happy, knowing we had each other. Several days had passed since that magical evening, and the tension in the house only continued to build. Every time I met Alex's gaze, my heart would race, and my thoughts would drift back to those moments of passion we had shared. We both knew it was dangerous, but we couldn't resist our attraction to each other. John continued to work late, which gave us more opportunities to spend time together. Every evening when Alex came to tutor Michael, I felt the tension between us grow. Our glances became longer and more meaningful, our words more personal and revealing. One evening, after Michael's lesson had ended, Alex stayed in the kitchen longer than usual. I pretended to be busy preparing dinner, but my hands were trembling and I couldn't concentrate. Caitlin, he said softly, approaching me, we need to talk. I turned around and saw the desire in his eyes. My heart skipped a beat and I knew we couldn't avoid this conversation. Yes, I replied, trying to stay calm. I know. He took my hand, his touch warm and reassuring. We walked out to the backyard, where the evening air was cool and fresh, the moon shone brightly, creating a romantic atmosphere. Caitlin, I can't keep doing this, he began, his voice full of emotion. I can't pretend that nothing is happening. Alex, I can't either, I replied, looking into his eyes. But what can we do? This is wrong. I know, he said, lowering his eyes. But I love you, Caitlin. I can't deny it. My eyes filled with tears. I knew he was telling the truth. Our feelings were real, and we couldn't ignore them. I love you too, Alex, I whispered, tears streaming down my cheeks. But what happens next? We'll find a way, he said, taking my face in his hands. We'll get through this together at that moment. He leaned in and kissed me gently. His lips were warm and soft, and I felt all my doubts disappear. I embraced him, our bodies moving in sync, and I knew I was ready to do anything for our love. We spent the night together, holding each other under the stars, and I felt a bond growing between us that no obstacle could break. In the morning, as the sun began to rise over the horizon, we knew we had to return to reality, but we were ready to fight for our happiness. Our relationship with Alex continued to develop despite all the difficulties. We became more cautious, trying not to attract unnecessary attention. Whenever John was home, we tried to behave as usual, but in those moments when we were alone. The passion between us flared up with new strength. One evening, when John was working late again and Michael was at his grandmother's, Alex came over for dinner. I was cooking his favorite dish, seafood pasta, and my thoughts were drifting in the clouds. Hi, he said, entering the house. How was your day? Hi, Alex, I replied, smiling. I thought about you all day. We sat down at the table, and the dinner passed in a warm and relaxed atmosphere. We talked about everything under the sun, laughed and shared our dreams and plans for the future. At some point I realized that I felt with him in a way I never felt with John, free and happy. After dinner we moved to the living room. Alex hugged me and I felt his warmth and strength. We kissed again, our lips meeting in a passionate and long kiss full of desire and love. I felt his hands glide down my back, causing a wave of pleasure. We began to undress slowly and I felt his hands start to remove my clothes. His touches were gentle and confident, and I couldn't resist my feelings. When I was left in just my underwear, he looked at me with admiration. You are beautiful, he whispered, his voice full of emotion. 
I have never seen anyone more beautiful. I couldn't hold back my tears of joy. I felt that I had finally found someone who understood me and loved me for who I was. We spent the night together, hugging and enjoying every moment. I knew that many difficult decisions awaited us, but I was ready to do anything for our love. Alex was the one I had been searching for all my life, and I was not going to let him go. Several weeks had passed since Alex and I took our relationship to the next level. The tension in the house continued, but it was a different kind of tension, a sense of inevitability, as if something important was about to happen. John stayed late at work more and more often, and I found increasing comfort in Alex's arms. One evening, after Michael had already fallen asleep, I was sitting in the living room with a cup of tea, thinking about how much my life had changed. Suddenly, John walked in. He looked tired, but there was a determination in his eyes that I hadn't seen in a long time. Caitlin, we need to talk, he said, sitting down across from me. Of course, John, I replied, feeling a tightness inside. What do you want to talk about? He sighed and looked me straight in the eyes. I've been thinking about this for a long time. He began slowly, and I think we need to get a divorce. I was stunned by his words, but at the same time I felt relieved. I had long understood that our relationship had become a routine, and I no longer hoped for its restoration, but hearing it from him was unexpected. Why did you decide that? I asked, trying to hide my relief. We've not been the same for a long time, he said, his voice calm and firm. I don't feel the emotions I used to. You deserve more, Caitlin, and I think I do, too. I nodded, understanding he was right. Our relationship had indeed run its course, and continuing it would be unfair to both of us. I understand, John, I said, trying to manage the surge of emotions. You're right. We need to move on. There was a flicker of surprise in his eyes, but then he relaxed. It will be better for both of us. We sat in silence, and I felt a weight lift off my heart. I knew this was the right decision, and that now I had the chance to start a new life with Alex. After the conversation with John, I felt free and full of hope for the future. Alex became not only a lover, but also a true friend who supported me during this difficult time. Every evening, after Michael went to bed, Alex and I would meet and spend time together, enjoying every moment. One evening, as I was telling Alex about John's decision, he took my hand and looked into my eyes. Caitlin, he began seriously, I'm glad you're finally free. I want you to know that I'm ready to be with you through everything. I love you and I want to be with you. My heart beat faster and I felt tears of joy welling up in my eyes. I love you too, Alex, I whispered, hugging him. I'm so happy we can be together. We sat embraced for a long time, and I felt our future becoming more and more real. We started making plans for our life together, dreaming of how we would travel, enjoy each day, and raise Michael together. Our relationship grew stronger, and I realized that I had finally found what I had been searching for all my life. Alex became for me what John never was a support, a friend and a lover with whom I could be myself. The divorce process went smoothly, and I felt a weight lift off my heart with each passing day. John was surprisingly understanding, and we were able to agree on everything without any unnecessary arguments. Although Michael was upset that his parents were divorcing, he quickly adapted to the new circumstances. One evening, when the divorce was almost finalized, Alex suggested we spend a weekend together to celebrate our new beginning. Caitlin, he said, smiling, let's go away for the weekend. We need to take a break and enjoy our time together. That's a wonderful idea. Alex, I replied, smiling back. Where do you want to go? How about a little cabin by the lake? He suggested. It will be quiet and peaceful, and we can spend some time, just the two of us. The weekend at the lake was a true salvation for us. We enjoyed every moment, walked along the shore, swam in the lake, and spent our evenings by the fireplace, talking about everything under the sun. This time became the beginning of a new chapter for us, one with no room for old problems and doubts. 
One evening, as we sat on the porch looking at the stars, Alex took my hand and looked into my eyes. Caitlin, he began, his voice full of emotion. I've never been as happy as I am now. You've changed my life, and I want to spend the rest of my days with you. My heart beat faster, and I felt tears of joy welling up in my eyes. I feel the same, Alex, I whispered, hugging him him. I'm so happy we found each other. We sat there embraced, enjoying the peace and quiet. I knew that many challenges lay ahead, but I was ready to face anything for our love. Alex was the one I had been searching for all my life, and I had no intention of letting him go. Several months had passed since John and I officially divorced. Michael had adapted to the new life, and we spent more and more time together with Alex. Our relationship grew stronger, and I felt happier than ever. Every day was filled with love, joy, and new discoveries. One evening, when Alex came home, he looked a bit anxious. Michael and I had just finished dinner and I noticed Alex was nervous. Alex, is something wrong? I asked, approaching him and giving him a hug. Yes, Caitlin, there's something I want to talk to you about, he said, taking my hand. Let's go sit on the porch. We went out to the porch and I noticed the bright moonlight creating a romantic atmosphere. We sat on the bench and Alex took my hand, his eyes full of love and determination. Caitlin, he began, these past few months have been the happiest of my life. I never thought I could find a love like ours. You've changed my life and I can't imagine my life without you. My heart beat faster and I felt tears of joy welling up in my eyes. Alex, I can't imagine my life without you either, I whispered, feeling his words warm my soul. So I want to ask you. He continued, getting down on one knee and taking a small velvet box out of his pocket. Caitlin, will you marry me? My eyes widened with surprise and joy. I looked at him, at the ring he was holding, and into his sincere eyes full of love and hope. I will marry you. He slipped the ring onto my finger and I felt my heart overflow with happiness. We kissed, and that kiss was full of promises for the future, love and hope. The wedding was beautiful and intimate. We decided to have a small ceremony by the lake where we had spent those unforgettable weekends. Michael was our little witness, making the day even more special. All our close friends and family gathered to celebrate this important event with us. Holding Alex's hand, I felt like all my dreams were coming true. We stood before our close circle of friends and family and exchanged vows of love and fidelity. Caitlin, Alex began, looking into my eyes. I promise to love you, respect you and support you in everything. You are my light and my inspiration, and I will always take care of you. Alex, I replied, feeling tears of joy welling up in my eyes. I promise to be with you in joy and sorrow, to love and respect you. You are my support and my love, and I will always be by your side. We exchanged rings and sealed our love with a kiss full of happiness and hope. This moment marked the beginning of a new chapter in our lives,